college dorm room haul video. This is a almost zero waste college dorm room haul video just because going into university um, I have watched a lot of these videos and if you think about it the amount of waste that is created from each purchase that you're making. The carbon footprint of dorm room hauls is just not very friendly on the earth. When I was looking at getting stuff for university, I really was actually trying to avoid buying anything and if possible, I actually just like kind of took a lot of the stuff that my parents had that was extra and so the stores that I went to, my parents' basement, my parents' kitchen, um, I did go to two, or not two, I went to four like actual stores and I did buy a few items which is why it's not completely zero waste but I did try my very best to not buy new things because we have so many of these things already at home so why would you purchase a new item when you already have it the things I did buy I tried to purchase zero waste options before we start the video I should explain what kind of like dorm living situation I'm in. I'm in a single room. I'm so incredibly grateful that I got my first choice of rooms. I have a shared bathroom and I share the bathroom with one other person. And then there is a common kitchen on each floor that is shared among everybody on that floor. Just as a FYI before you watch the video. Everything in this kitchen bin is from either my parents' basement, things that they had extras of, or their kitchen, which were things that they didn't need. The first item is something that I think everybody needs. This is from my parents' basement. It's an extra kettle that they had. I love drinking hot water in the winter. A lot of people think that's weird, but it's like really cold and it's just like a nice drink. Water's my favorite drink, so. I plan on boiling eggs in this kettle because I heard that you can do that. It's like a backpacking hack. The second item is this uh, thermos type thing, but it's a thermos with like a little, uh, pouring spout here. So basically once you boil the water in the kettle you can pour the water in here and it keeps the water warm all day. This is from China. I don't think it's like a very common thing in Canada to have but my parents had an extra. They have like a bigger one in our kitchen right now so this is perfect for me. The next item is this little pot. There is the lid for this somewhere in here but I'm not going to bother trying to find it. But again, this is from my parents' basement. They have a lot of extra pots and pans, and honestly guys, if you just look in your parents' basement, you're probably gonna find a lot of extra things. You're probably gonna just be like cooking noodles in here. I do have a meal plan, but I also like to cook once in a while, so noodles, boiling vegetables. This is a salad bowl also from my parents' basement. It's also just a good general bowl to have for washing fruit and vegetables. This is from our kitchen. My parents have a ton of like Tupperware containers, so there was no need for me to buy more. And plus, like I have a meal plan for each year, and so I'm not gonna be like packing that much stuff. I have one knife, also from my parents' basement. They had an extra set of knives, so I just grabbed like, two of them. I'll show you the other one in a bit. I have one pair of chopsticks. We have plenty of chopsticks at home, so. It was fine if I just took a pair. I have my reusable straw. I have one little container. I have one of these containers. If you eat like half an avocado, you can put the other half in here and stir it tight and you don't do saran wrap or anything like that. Then there's a little container in there. And then I have one spoon. Basically, I'm only bringing one of each type of utensil, so I'm forced to wash it because oftentimes I'll pack myself a lunch and then I'll forget to wash it, but I won't forget to wash it because I don't need it because I only have one of each item. So definitely life hack. Force yourself to do dishes. So I have this bowl for cereal in the morning. I have a meal plan, but um, I want to eat my breakfast in the morning because I don't really feel like leaving my room in the morning, if you know what I'm saying. And then I have this which is for a piece of toast and my egg in the morning. This is, again, from my parents' basement. I did not find this. Here is the next item. Very, very handy. My parents actually won this um, at like a raffle draw at an event they went to a couple months ago. It's kind of just was perfect timing. Um, it's very small, but it's good for rice, obviously, but also there's like a steamer on top so I can steam vegetables in it, which is very handy. We have one chopping board. 
Also from my parents kitchen, they have like six chopping boards, they don't need six. Um, my mom just gave me this one. Also disclaimer, I'm saying like I took stuff from my parents kitchen stuff, obviously I got their permission to do that. Here is the other knife that I'm bringing for cutting like vegetables and like bigger things. Here's the next item. This is a Brita filter. This is also from my parents kitchen. We've been using this Brita filter for many many years but they, my, my mom was like, we don't actually use it. Like we basically have it for you so you can just take it to university. And then going along with that, we already had this in like a pantry, just some filters. Obviously not fair ways to come in plastic, but there's not too much I can do about that one. Just another way to be more eco-friendly is to make your own things. So I went to a sewing class and I made this apron out of just scrap fabric that the lady had and so it's really cute and she told me like this bigger piece of fabric is actually thrifted from Goodwill and so very very eco-friendly I'm excited to use this because I made it myself pretty cool this is just a little dish towel also took it from my parents kitchen or I asked them if I could have it but didn't need to buy a new one because they have a ton. Like honestly, like this type of thing, you don't need to buy. You can literally cut up an old t-shirt and use it as a kitchen towel. That is everything for the kitchen section. This new residence has double beds for all the single rooms at least, which is kind of annoying because I've had a twin bed my whole life. And so all my bedding and everything was twin. And so I didn't want to buy any new bedding or like new duvet covers or new duvets. Um, new blankets, things like that, because in the clothing industry and just like the textile in industry is also a huge greenhouse gas emitter. I didn't actually end up buying any new bedding. It turns out a lot of the bed sheets that I have been using for my twin bed were actually for a double or maybe even a queen. In terms of the actual duvet, it is for a twin, but after researching on Google, people just said, you know, it just kind of looks funny on the bed, but if I fold it up, nobody's gonna notice that I have a twin duvet on a double bed. I'll find out when I get there on Sunday if I really, really need anything new, but for the time being, I think we're good. If you were looking to see throw pillows in this video, you are not gonna get any of that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't really like throw pillows. It's not like I don't like them, I just think they take up unnecessary space. They give you unnecessary work to do in the morning when you're making your bed. And yes, they look nice, but they, I also think they crowd your room and your bed. I'm not gonna call myself a minimalist, but I'm definitely, that's something that I'm working on. I've had one single pillow for sleeping my whole life. It's a nice memory foam pillow. And honestly, I think you only need one pillow because you only need one pillow to sleep in. And personally for me, decorations do not come in the form of throw pillows. Today, actually, I just purchased some, this is not real macrame, it's close to macrame. I went to Michael's to find macrame, they didn't have it. Went to the yarn store, this is the closest thing they had. Otherwise, I would have had to order it on Amazon, which would have been not efficient, first of all, cost-wise, and also delivery-wise, and just like gas-wise, because I only needed to order one item. And so, would have been bad for the planet anyway, so I just grabbed this. But I'm gonna make some plant hangers. When I actually get to Hamilton, I'm going to be purchasing a bunch of new plants. I'm so excited for that. So, you know those like little beady plants that like string over? Um, I'm gonna get one of those and then I'm gonna make a plant hanger for that. And then also, I'm gonna get a giant snake plant for like one corner of my room because, you know, it's good to have like different heights of plants for variation in your room. And so, yes, for me, decorations come in the form of plants. If you think I'm weird, you can think I'm weird. I love plants so much. But this is macrame that I'm or macrame that I'm gonna use for plant hangers that I'm gonna DIY myself. So yeah, this is pretty much zero waste. This is recyclable. If I were to buy actual plant hangers that were already pre-made, they'd probably come packaged in plastic. So if you can make things yourself, I love DIY stuff, I love crafts, so it's kind of a fun little project for me. Other decorations, this vintage tennis racket. I haven't done anything to it yet. I'm going to be stitching, or not like stitching, but just weaving like Mac or something. I think I'm gonna put Mac on here because my goal was to play for the Mac varsity tennis team. I don't think that's actually gonna happen. One, because I'm not gonna make the team. 
And two, because I don't think I'll have time to, this is obviously secondhand. It's from a thrift store and I got it for $8. This is gonna go on my wall. It's gonna be really cute. This is one of the non-plant decorations that I have. Another non-plant decoration that I have is this beautiful tapestry. You can't actually drill holes in the walls. And so I bought command strips, which I'll show you later. And I just kind of stitched on, not, not even stitch, I just like put little like loops for the tapestry to go to hang on the command strips. It's from Society6 if you're wondering. It's really pretty, but I already had it for a year. I didn't buy it like new for university specifically. I was really looking at purchasing a new eye mask for sleeping. Even though I have a single room, I think it's just good to have. My old one was falling apart, but I fixed it. So I don't know if you can see, I because I took a bunch of sewing classes, I actually stitched the little fabric back on. And so it's usable again. Another tip for creating less waste is to see what you already have. If it's broken, try to fix it. If it's really not fixable, and I don't know if your city has this, but our city has um, repair cafes put on by Reimagine Co. I've never been to one myself, but I'm, I've heard a lot of positive things about them. And so go to one of those, see if your item can get fixed before you purchase something new. This is like a new item that I had to purchase because, I mean, you can't, one, you can't really buy secondhand command strips, and two, they're kind of necessary, so I needed them. Zero waste isn't about depriving yourself and just like not buying anything. And same thing with minimalism, I think they kind of go hand in hand. It's buying things that you absolutely need. And when you can't find it zero ways, you just have to buy it. I'm so sorry guys if the audio in this video is terrible. My mom is cooking and my dad is mowing the lawn and I have no other like time to film this video and this is like a good location to do it. So I got three of these. One of them is for my school backpack because it's really heavy. And then these two, I'm actually gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's why I got seven and a half pounds. I'm gonna put these on the ceiling and then I'm gonna hang my plant hangers from them. I'm gonna tie like the macrame like on here, kind of like that. I don't know if that's gonna work, but hopefully it does, we'll see. I got these three, so two of them are gonna be for my tapestry, that's why I put like, little hoops on. These ones are for towels, but I didn't buy, I mean, I think this is a lot. I don't know how many people usually buy, but hopefully I don't need to buy any more but we'll find out when I actually move in. I'm also bringing this to uh, my dorm room with me. This is just like a drawer thing. It's from my parents' basement again. We just had this extra like lying around. So I just grabbed that. We have a store in London called Reimagine Co. Absolutely adore that store and the owners are so friendly and so amazing. And I actually work with one of the uh, owners on the Plastic Free London campaign. They have something called the Naked Store and everything in that store is to help you with your zero waste journey. They have refillable things like shampoo and conditioner and stuff, which is what I bought yesterday. So you bring in your own container and these are just containers that I had at home from my parents buying shampoos and things like that because I can't force them to buy uh, zero waste shampoos and stuff. But this is a shower gel this is shampoo, and I also bought conditioner. So this is dish soap and hand soap in one. It's multi-purpose, I love multi-purpose things. But yeah, I'm gonna be putting it in my bathroom and then I can see myself doing a lot of dishes in my bathroom just because I'm someone who's too lazy to go down to the kitchen. I guess these two things should technically go in the kitchen section, but I got them at Reimagine Co. So I'm just gonna put them in this section. So these are these like Amigo, um, food wraps. They're made out of beeswax, and so this just prevents me from having to use saran wrap, which is really bad for the environment. But the last item that I got from Reimagine Co. is this little um, agave scrubber thing. It's for my dishes. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it wasn't really a typical college dorm room haul video. I tried not to buy things instead of buying a ton of things just because that's just what I believe in and the values that I kind of live by. But hopefully you found it somewhat interesting and maybe you took something from this video. Um, but otherwise, that's it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video.